Hi, and today we'll be answering another Rust interview question. So today we're looking at two sum. Given an array of integers, return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to a specific target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. So in our example here, we're given the number, the array of numbers 2, 7, 11, and 15 and a target value of 9. So we want to find the two values that will add up to 9. So at position 0 we have 2, in position 1 we have 7, so if we add those together we get 9. So our answer would be 0 and 1, they're the two positions that we want to return. We have to return them as an array, or a vector in this case. One way of doing this is a brute force method where we would loop through the array twice, getting the value from the first loop and the value from the second loop and seeing if they add together to the target. The problem is you're iterating twice and you're using a lot of resources to do that. Um, there is a way to do this with just one iteration and I will show you that. So we're going to use a hash map for this. So we're going to have to use standard collection hash map. What we're going to do is let mutable map, which is our hash map, equal the hash. And then we're going to do with capacity just to save a little bit of extra resources. Um, oh, misspelled that capacity. And then the capacity is going to be the length of our array, which is nums. I'm going to put that in here. And now we just have this pre made. Um, hash map for us with that with that particular size or capacity. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to iterate through the um, array. So for and we're going to get the position or the index if you like and the value at that index. So position and value is what we want in our array of nums and this is just how you iterate in uh, Rust and then we're going to let the search equal so what we're going to do instead of adding the two values up to the target value we're going to actually take the target we're going to take the value that we land on away from the target so target minus value. And now we're going to search our hash map to see if it has the search value that we want, because that will then become our second value. It'll make sense in a second once I type it out. So this will be our position two in our answer. That will equal our map.get a reference to search. So what map.get here is we're going to get this remainder value because that's we're, that's going to be our second value and it's we're going to see if it's in our hash map already. Now on your first iteration it's not going to be because we're only going to have one value we're going to have currently we have no values in our hash map. Well let's say if we did get the second value we would then return our two values are our two ind indexes. So position as i32, you just have to convert it because it's a u size. That's a particular thing in Rust. And I recommend you look up the difference between um, u size and i32. And then position two, which is the one that we just found from the hash map as i32. Now, if we don't find these values, then what we're going to do is going to insert the value we just iterated over. And then just to, for completeness, we're going to return an empty vector if this doesn't work, but it will work because they say in the question that they guarantee it to work. Yeah, you may assume that each input would have exactly one solution. So there will be a solution, so we don't really have to worry about this. 
so basically what's happening here is we're creating our hash map, then we're iterating through the array. We're getting the index, which is position, and the value, and the value at that index. So our search is going, to, our second search is going to be our target minus value. So if it was, for example, not if our target's nine and we were on two, we're going to subtract two from nine and we're going to be left with seven. And then we're going to iterate through the hash map to see if we have seven. Now we won't have seven because two is the first value in the array. So it's going to go, it's not going to go here because it's not going to find it in the, in the hash map. It's going to go down here and insert two and its index into the hash map. And then once it does this, it'll iterate true again. And on the sec second iteration, we'll land on seven. And now seven, so you'll have target minus seven, which will be two. So our search value will now be two. So it'll go to our hash map and get this value two. It will be there because we just inserted, inserted it on the previous iteration. So then this if statement will turn true. And now we will, now we'll be, we will be able to return a vector with position, which is our index on our current iteration and position two, which is the index of the value that we searched for in the hash map. That's a, a lot to unpack. I recommend you study this a little bit. Uh, let's just run that code to show you that it works. And I have made a spelling error, of course. Oh, collections. Yeah, there's an S in collections. And there you go, it worked. And if we submit that, and it's the best solution you can come up with, 100% faster than other online submissions. There you go, I hope you enjoyed. If any questions, leave them below, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, thanks.